Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Full Stack Developer Roadmap and Technology Stack Tutorial. A lot of you have been writing to me asking about what is what should be your career path when you're planning to go as a full stack developer. This is valid for both front end engineers as well as the back end engineers. Through this tutorial, I will help you and make it easy for you to decide which is the best technology full stack path that you should choose, what are the different technology stacks available and your progression in terms of learning to become a full stack developer. Let's get started. All right. So before I explain you the full stack developer roadmap and the technology stack, let's first exactly understand what does a full stack dev do? A full stack developer is a person who can design and develop both client and server side software, which includes writing code design, including the unit test. Why did I call out the unit test? Because a lot of developers think just writing and developing code is part of their job. My friends, that's not correct. For e whenever you plan to become a full stack developer, you have to include unit test and in some cases even end to end test cases. So now let's understand what exactly is front end development and what is back end and then we'll jump into the technology stack. So what is front end development? Front end of a website or an app is what we see it renders in the browser and which users can interact with. Anything that you see is a UI, right? And the interaction that the user does with our application is what is JavaScript. And it all renders in the browser. And that's why it is also called as client side scripting or client side programming. Now, what is back end side? Backend development is responsible for anything that happens at the server side, which includes your authentication, authorization, server security, logical processing, storage, organizing data, interacting with database and responding with client side requests. This is not limited list. It goes way beyond it, like caching, optimizing, improving performance and much, much more. But the basic idea is if you want to become a full stack, you should be familiar with both client side as well as server side job responsibilities. All right, now let's talk about the different technology roadmap and stacks that are available, which you can choose if you prefer to become a full stack developer. The first and the foremost thing that I want to call out is this section where I'm calling must know. So if you want to become a full stack developer, you must know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are all client side languages or I would say JavaScript is a scripting language. So HTML is the structure of your website. CSS is how the application looks and JavaScript is how the application interacts and behaves for a particular client interactions. So if you want to become a full stack developer, you must know HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The next thing that comes is to choosing a front end framework. Now, these are the modern frameworks that are available that we can pick and master that. You can either select Angular, you can select React or you can select Vue. Also, if you're coming from old school, some applications still use jQuery, but it's not encouraged or it's not I would say recommended in today's world because the world has changed drastically after jQuery. So as a front end, uh, if you want to be a full stack developer, you need to choose a front end framework to work with. It can be either Angular, React or Vue.js. All of these are based on either TypeScript or plain vanilla JavaScript. If you are familiar with JavaScript, you can easily pick any of these tracks. Now let's talk about the server side language. When we say server side, we have options like we have Java, where you have Spring Boot, microservices, J2E, all of that, the Java stack. Then you have the JavaScript based framework, which is Node.js, yet another very, very popular. It has picked up demand in last quite few years. So 
node js again when you say node js you have express js nest js and so on but the underlining principle is node js then PHP. PHP has been around for quite a lot of time. There are a lot of stable frameworks like Laravel, CodeIgniter, CakePHP that you can pick up and master. You have Microsoft.NET also if you prefer to go on the Microsoft stack. And now the one that is picking up really well is Python. That's one of the server-side languages that's quite in demand, pays really well. So you must know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Pick any one front-end um, uh, framework and remember friends whenever you pick any of this front-end framework you would obviously learn the others also because they are also on similar lines I'm not saying the word same I'm saying the word similar which means the concepts the underlining concepts will be same in all of these frameworks server-side pick any one language which you are familiar or have interest in start learning and mastering you definitely need one front-end framework one server-side language if you want to become a full stack developer coming to the databases a full stack developer's job doesn't end only at front-end or server-side you need to interact with database also like querying retrieving data saving editing and much more when you talk about optimizing you will also need to optimize the queries that you send to database so knowledge of databases is also expected from a full stack developer mongodb is one of the most recent hit in databases that a lot of companies and projects are preferring it's a json bson based um, database so that's something that you can align well that's also has a lot of market demand and also pays really well you have the oracle db you have mysql postgres and microsoft sql server the so the fundamental is if you learn SQL, that's the fundamental to all of this. So querying, data retrieving, inserting, updating, deleting, that is the CRUD operations in the database that you should be aware and should know about it. Last but not the least, a lot of times, a lot of people tell you that you must know only the programming and that's it. But the fact is you should know about the test frameworks also. So learn about Mocha, Chai or Jasmine anyone like I said all these three are also related in terms of how they are designed which means if you learn any one test framework you should be able to pick up the others very easily so this is the technology landscape nowadays that's in a lot of demand and I'm sure I'm predicting it will be there for next uh, five or ten years so if you pick any one track you should be stable for next five years or so easily so let's see what are the different best career paths or tracks that are available which really pays well the first one is mean stack that is mongodb express angular and node.js now this is one of the very hit track and a lot of demand is there you you have a lot of job opportunities pays really well is this track is uh, consumed by a lot of large enterprises also on the similar lines you have Mern stack which is mongodb express instead of angular it is react and with node.js so see here the combination if you learn mongodb express node you are learning two tracks parallelly right so think of going with this such stack which has multiple flavors and can give your career and your profile a better upgrade the standard this has been around for a lot of time which is lamp or vamp that is Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP or WAMP which is Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. You can also go with Microsoft Framework which is .NET with MyC MS SQL Server. You have Python with MySQL and Postgres or with MongoDB. So these are some of the famous and I would say stable tracks that you should choose. Alright, now before I close anything. so there is no comparison or argument on which framework or which tech stack is better okay so that let's put an end to that argument in your mind you might think oh this is better that is better this pays well that pays well no there is no comparison each stack has a lot of demand each stack has a lot of large companies using it stable they pays well but the trick here is that you need to master your skills in that one particular track let's say mean stack 
so master it learn lot of code read lot of code practice mini projects side projects um, that's the only way to grow if your skills are in demand if your skills are really good you would always be in demand and you can always demand more compensation before i leave you these are some of the common concepts that are related to both front end and back end programming languages that you should be knowing and should be really working towards improving your logical skills variables loops conditional statements operators classes methods functions inheritance objects array strings promises async these are all the common things that are required on front end as well as back end side so you should be knowing about these and should be working towards improving your knowledge on these areas for sure i'm saying these are the just the basic list again it can expand like try catch and much much more but these are the fundamentals and the most important building blocks of your logic all right if you have any doubts if you need any personal coaching please write to me and let's talk at surya.aradhya@ at gmail.com i'm always open to help you please reach out to me for more information you want to discuss your career path i can do personal coaching for you thank you so much for joining please do subscribe to my channel please do keep supporting me and encouraging me you can also get my ebooks and templates at arctutorials.gumroad.com i'm sure these ebooks will help you grow in your career thank you again for joining see you in the next video